All right, everyone, welcome back to more Exiled Kingdoms. We are going to continue our quest. So if I remember correctly, last time, we'll get Cursor off the screen. We don't need it just yet. We're using controller, but we're doing controller along with some mouse and keyboard controls. Anyway, so we did talk to... Oh, wrong button. That button. I think I do have to click on them to actually talk. Or hit tab, one of the two. We did rescue Mar Marguerite's daughter. It's not Marguerite, it's Marguerite. There's an H in there, apparently, to change the name to make it just slightly different than what we would normally name someone. Um, but yeah, we did uh, talk, save her daughter, so now she will allow us to sell things. And we're not going to sell the skull just yet. We do need a skull. We do want to get a thousand uh, gold because we need to open up a vault. Getting vaults are going to be very important in this game because you have limited inventory space. Now, there are some things in the main quest line, like one thing that will get you an extra bag so you can actually hold more inventory, but still work towards getting enough you know, gold, enough money to open a vault so you can store all of your items. It's going to be incredibly important. You want to do this. And we also have this nice sort of discount at shops now, which is fantastic. We do need to sell all this uh, extra armor here. Oh, we're gonna put on the hardened one for now, the hardened uh, leather cap. So let's equip that first, actually, because it's a little bit better than this, just it gives a little bit more health bonus, so that's fantastic. We do have boots and hardened leggings, so no longer wearing our leather skirt, but now we have actually hardened leggings, or hardened leg thingies. Yeah. Not sure how hardened leggings work. They gotta be really hard to like walk in, could you imagine? Hardened leggings, like that's got to be like so like stiff, like almost like wearing like leather pants, I imagine, like really like hard to move around in the kind of leather pants, like boiled hardened leather. It's great protection, but smells funny. I don't know, but at least we're protected, right? Our, our thighs and legs and general groin area are all protected. So that's always important. Anyway, and we have this nice uh, fur cloak. So now we're protected against some cold magic which is fantastic so let's back out of here we're going to go sell some stuff at the weapons dealer so let's go boop and we're going to well on the wolf pelt come on sell those later Should probably check and go back let's go check on our companion What's her equipment here? Switch to her, and she definitely needs that. So equip her on that. She's got boots. It's fantastic. So we'll sell the boots off. You don't need them. Back. Okay. So we're going to continue on. We need to find luminescent mushrooms. And I'm hoping the cave has them again. I don't know if it does. I'm hoping. It's best place to find it is in the thieves den, the cave where we fought the bandits which is up here. I think we already looked and it didn't have it. Ooh. And of course, always try to disarm traps. Unless we fail and then don't do it. <laughs> it's a bad idea. I think we already checked and... No, it's not over there. It would be around here around the water um, and you'd see a, like a little small mushroom on the ground that we could pick up. I think I might rest and then it should reset everything and hopefully, or we'll do another quest and come back. I'm not entirely sure which, but we could do another quest and just come back. It's possible. We do need to go south. There's also other stuff we can do around here too. Um, while you're in Kingsbridge, you do want to talk to a wizard in a blue robe. But make sure you do it now and don't come back with the thief companion because the thief companion that we get may have wronged the blue robe wizard Janod or Yenod. I'm gonna say it's Yenod. No, it seems more like how I want to pronounce it. You can correct me in the comments below. Feel free to if I'm saying it wrong or just let me say it however, however I say it. Whatever's cool. It's all good. 
Uh, let's see. Greetings. You travel very far south from Thurum. What brings you here? He's a wizard. I'm a sorcerer. Sorry, a sorcerer, not a wizard. My bad. I said it wrong. And a weaver. My travel is mostly due to research, but sadly, I was robbed of all my belongings, so I may need to return home and face failure. Who robbed you? Now can ask me for money, are you? Because I forgot my purse at the end. I can help you, help you with some money. I don't know. Uh, who robbed you? Adon. Adon. I don't know. Adon, whoever, however you pronounce his name. He accompanied me on the road, but when I was sleeping. Same thief who took our letters. Same bastard robbed this guy. And no doubt the mystical powers have brought us together and not mere chance. Now I can ask you for money, are you? Because I forgot my purse at the end. Uh, so ask if we can help. And except that I'm a Theramian? I don't know. Theramian? I can't pronounce anything in this game, apparently. Uh, I'm a Theramian sorcerer. However, maybe I could create a magical item for you in exchange for 500 coins. Ooh, could you? You're also going to make me find the ingredients, aren't you? I bet you will. I bet you will. You'll make us find them. Interesting. That way both you and me would benefit. What ingredients do you need? Okay, white wolf pelt, small ruby. And for 500 coins, we can get a cloak of the wolf. An improved cloak, which is even better than what we have now. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to rest... Um, if we wanted to, so we have a 25% chance for gossip. We can increase that as we go, as we increase our stats and our perks, but um, for now we have like 25% 25, 25 chance of learning rumors about something in the area. This is a good way to actually get extra experience. Uh, just find things that need to be fought kind of thing. Progress quests, especially if you go to the town hall. So if you go to the town hall, you can accept quests and earn more experience, kind of help improve how much experience you have. You do have a time limit though, so be careful on that. But basically, accept a quest at the town hall, go to the inn, buy some drinks to you know listen for rumors, and then you can come back and be like, okay, complete the quest, I got the information I needed, go do it, go back to the town hall, and the, we took the quest and get your experience, and it's fantastic. But always make sure you get your gossip bonus up high enough so you're more likely to hear something. That's an important thing right there. So for now, we're just going to rest. I'm not interested in rumors. We're just going to go uh, 6 or 12. I just going to do 12. It's fine. Full, full 12 is probably more than we needed. But full 12 hour rest. This game is very generous with how many saves you get. Uh, it's less generous. Wait. Let's fight some bandits. Why the heck not? There we go. Took out some bandits. Oh, it's a little tiny bit of gold. It's fine. It's fine. And they had some gold on them too. Plus, they were a little bit of experience. So I'm gonna check again. I'm yeah, because it re did reset the enemies in the area. So we're definitely gonna take them on. Hello, bandit. You're not gonna rob anyone else. All right, let's check one more time. I want to see one more time if there's mushrooms in this cave. If not, we might just move on and complete other quests. So that's fine. Take on other quests. We do need to do a few other things yet, but I don't want to. Ooh, we need to kind of recover here. So let's uh, get some stuff first. Take all the things. Let's do... Which one's recovery? Dang it, enemies are around. Okay. Okay, can I do it now? <laughs> There's still enemies. Go away, enemy. Listen, bandit, we're gonna take you out. Or die trying. It's one of the two. He just happened to get that first hit before I did. And our companion just got triggered the trap. Listen, you're not supposed to trigger the trap. You're supposed to let us actually uh, 
disarm the trap. We're supposed to unarm that or disarm it, whatever you want to call it. All right. There we go. Was there a monies for him? No. He was a poor bandit. Didn't have any money on him. They didn't share their monies with him. Should we release the wolves again? It's always fun to release the wolves. It is a little sketchy. But... Uh, yeah, why not? Let's have some fun. We can always restart this if we need to. Well, that's boring. We opened it up. They didn't do anything. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're attacking us. This is not part of the plan. <laughs> this was... A the opposite of part of the plan. Oh no, okay. Well, we, mistakes were made, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Okay. Mistakes were made. We're going to recover real quick. There we go. Oh sure, now you come down here. All right, do we dare? Uh, oh, we did it, yeah, yeah. Experience. There it is. Okay, right there. You can see it. That little light blue, small bit of mushroom right there. That is what we need. Okay. We have hope. We have hope, everybody. <laughs> it's fantastic. There we go. Get rid of them. There'll be one more trap right here. Do. Oh. No. no. Well, she set that off. I don't have to worry about that. Good thing she'll revive when she dies. All right. We could actually explore further in here and get a bit more experience doing so, but we want to use a scroll first. I'd probably do it on my own, kind of leave her behind real quick and then do it. Let's explore some. What's this? Oh, is that a iron longsword? Probably not as good as what she has, but we'll take it. We can always sell things off. That was just that? Yeah, okay. Okay. We're not going to go any further or fight any further because we want to go turn this in. So let's take all. We're going to go back to the first town that we, that we came to. Back to the alchemist. So now that we've actually given him the mushroom, as long as we have more of those two flowers we'll be okay we'll actually be able to keep going back and i think the two flowers and maybe a little bit of money will give us more of those potions but it's the cheapest way to get that particular potion so when, whenever you're in this area you happen to find those flowers pick them up in fact you can kind of just search around and keep getting as many of those flowers as you want if you want to grind a bit finding those flowers and Docking up on potions. Ooh, who are you? Yeah, you're just a mercenary for hire. And not worth it. And the alchemist. Cool, so yeah. A uh, hundred, hundred gold points are GP gold pieces, I guess. Um, and one red and one blue orchid and we, he can give us new portion, potions. We don't need any more mushrooms. We just need to make sure we keep an eye out for the red and blue orchid, and we'll be fantastic. And then we can get some uh, fairly inexpensive potions because if you kind of look, see if she has any. You can get fantastic. Ooh, our companion's about to level up. That's exciting. Our companion's about to get stronger. Like a hundred is the regular price for just the standard potion. And we got this thing right here, which is potion of moderate healing. The light potion's normally 100 gold, but we're able to get it for 100 as long as we have those two flowers, which is fantastic. We actually have uh, two more of those flowers. Let's stock up a little bit. And, oh, we can actually get a vault too. Oh. So, like, part of me wants to save for better gear. Part of me wants to get a vault at this point. And I'm, I'm kind of torn. I know I just talked, I talked about vaults and the importance of getting vaults, but ooh, um, 
might check on the gear first because we our character could use a little bit better defense better gear I mean leveling will help that but we could use some better gears let's back up real quick um talk to him first I guess we cut you know we can always grind for more monies money money and items to sell for money aren't like hard to find in this game you can easily re-raid a dungeon if you need to so yeah we'll talk to him and say hey we want a potion And then one more potion. Did he give us two already? Oh, we only had one of each. Oh, that's my mistake. I was looking at the, the price and I thought, oh, we have two. For, no, it's two gold for each. I'm an idiot. Apparently, we only had one of each. So we got another potion. It's fantastic. So let's go ahead and get a vault. I'd rather have a vault now. Um, because just we'll be gathering stuff for quests and I'd rather make sure we have the vault for it. So uh, why don't we go and do that and let's get a vault, right? Thousand gold. Yes. Okay. So first off, what we're going to do is to kind of move stuff really don't want right now. A uh, potion of death reward. We'll hold, kind of hold on to that, put that there. And we'll hold on to the, actually, no, I'll store that. Because I'll use that when I go level grinding. And I'll do level grinding off stream because I mean, probably don't want to see me just keep redoing an area over and over again. It'd be kind of boring to just watch me grind. But we want to make progress. So we got that quest done. We have another quest we can do. And that quest, go to, actually, how much, how much gold do we have? We should probably recover before we go anywhere else. Uh, yeah, let's recover. We'll recover first because we don't want to uh, get caught in a sticky situation. Too easy to do here. So 12 hour rest, thank you. And let's go down. We're going to deliver the letter. Remember the courier from last episode we are supposed to deliver a letter and see what area was that that was go to our map real quick uh, go to the world map so it's actually south of the farmlands in new grand um and new grand is basically right there uh, the city of new grand this is the farmlands here we need to go kind of to the south here deliver a letter to this guy's person he's supposed to go to because apparently he can't go to the farmlands for some crazy reason i don't know why but he claims he can't do it so we gotta go deliver a letter for him i'm guessing it's a trap i'm gonna guess it's a trap well i don't really need to guess i i can i, I know the answer but pretending i don't know the answer i'm gonna guess it's a trap hello orc warrior all right Got shield going first. As our companion just walks back and forth uselessly, mind you, in a useless manner. We can probably use our trap. Hold on. No, no, hit the trap. Dang it! Why wouldn't you? Hit, why don't you hit the trap? Why don't you hit the trap? Look, it's right there. Walk into it. Our companion ruined it. How dare you, companion. There she is. Let's go ahead and increase her stuff here. Real quick. Uh, she, she doesn't gain as many skill or trait points as we do. Which is a little unfortunate. We will... Uh, kind of... Let's give her one intellect, though. Just to give her a little bit better experience gaining. Um, it, it won't affect how much experience she takes. It's just going to increase the amount that she gains. So that's going to be very nice. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong entirely. I could not know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we did 
Uh, cleave, we can't do that because we need one more. We could save for that. Uh, what's this? So, resilience or whirlwind? Uh, let's give her resilience. We can do whirlwind later. But resilience is going to be a really good thing. Alright, back. Need to go, so. We'll ignore that grunt for now. Right away past some bandits. Hello, bandit. There we go, hack and slash you. Thank you very much. Our companion is stronger. We're stronger. Eventually stronger. We'll be stronger at some point. We so going south to the farmlands. This should be right here. Not a lot of enemies in the farmlands, so we're relatively safe in this area unless you wander into like the wrong encampment and then it's a little sketchy. Which we're gonna find. Hello, villager. There's some really good equipment here, especially for a warrior. We're gonna go kind of north and over eventually. Okay, so this is... God, I don't want to recover, but I kind of need to... I should recover. <laughs> oh, fine. We'll waste it. It's fine. It's going to be more important to make sure we survive this than try to not survive. Okay. Talk to Horton. The not-an-elephant Horton. Who does not hear a who. Let's see. What, what do you want? Um, nothing. I was just exploring. Goodbye. Or... I'm looking for Horton. I have a letter for him from Kingsbridge. Finally, our good friend Erhar found some fool that travels alone and carries some valuables. Now let's slit your throat and see what can we loot. To, hi to him, boys. To him, look. I'm obviously a female. As you can see by the portrait, the character is obviously fe a female, but it's like, to him. Apparently, this person is blind. So we're just going to have to kill him for that. Get rid of Horton first. Horton's probably the most dangerous. There we go. Well, we probably didn't need to recover, actually. We could have just done that without recovering. But chances are, if we didn't, we would have gotten wrecked. How much would I bet if we didn't do that, we would have gotten completely wrecked? Look at her ex experience bar. Like, it's already creeped up a good amount. Just from doing that. All right, we need to go back to uh, our sleazy little friend here who we did actually shake down for 50 extra gold so that was fantastic um because he's he's got some explaining to do he's got a little bit of explaining kind of sent us to our doom here right into a trap where they were gonna kill us and take our money they were gonna mug us because they're muggers if any of you watch uh, Viva the Dirt League and you know what I'm talking about here, get that little bit of reference. <laughs> the funny reference there. If you don't watch Viva the Dirt League, I do recommend it. It is a, it's a funny channel and it does hint a lot on son of a bitch. We're going to have to do this, aren't we? Yep, we're going to have to. No, no. Okay, so. I, I, here's the money. I don't have that much money. Made a terrible mistake. Okay, it's a ter terrible mistake. We're not giving any bandits money. We're not going to just hand our money over. That's a lot of money. You want to pay? No, I don't want to pay. Let's fight. Look at that. Wreck those bandits, no problem. All for a leather hood and 15 gold. All right, Rolf. You got some explaining. You, you here? I, I mean, wait, don't be angry. I can explain this. You're a bandit scoundrel. Give me just one reason why I should let you live. Or it could be like, no tricks, 
<laughs> me and yeah, no one tricks me and lives. Now die. Like, yeah, no one tricks me and lives. Or we can say, hey, give me a reason. Let's at least hear what he has to say. I think we, it is somewhat beneficial to talk to him. I don't know what happens if you kill him. If he does the same thing. Either way, we're just going to be like, all right, explain yourself. Listen, I can make it up for you. I have a magical item on me, but it's hidden... You would never find it without my help. Spare me, I will give it to you. Won't fool me again. Okay, don't try any tricks on me or else. Let's do this, because you do get a magical item. It's actually kind of cool. I made the right choice here. Take it, no hard feelings. Okay, if we ever meet, I'll buy you a drink. You better. All right, so we got Lesser Ring of Death Ward, which is going to be good. So seven health house is plus three. If we kill him... It's going to go down, but it's also going to go down, I believe, on another quest, because there's one quest I won't do the bad version of, because it would increase, I think, or it's, it's an, uh, another one, a different one. It might, be, it might still be Seventh House. Okay, so we got did the mushrooms, so we got that quest wrapped up. We did the letter, that quest is wrapped up. I do want to try to get enough gold to get some better armor for our main character, as well as get some better gear for our companion too so we're gonna try to do some of that but for now i'm gonna wrap this video up um we've done two quests so we'll next video we'll do two more quests so thank you so much for watching appreciate you i uh, will see you next time until then stay awesome and we will see you then